it's good to have the victory in Jesus Christ. You know, there's a saying in the world that says the agony of defeat and the thrill of victory. When you got victory, you got some thrill behind. You got some joy. You got some peace. Hallelujah. You know, Jesus said, if you know these things, he said, happy are you if you do them. When you keep his commandments, you'll be happy. Yes, you will. You'll be happy. It's when you don't do it. As he told Cain, you know, Cain got upset because the Lord didn't accept his offering. And he, but he accepted Abel's offering. But the Lord told Cain, he said, Cain, if you do well, you'll be accepted. But if you do not well, sin lies at the door. Hallelujah. So we're around here at Refuge Temple Ministry. We're striving to do well. We're striving to live by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God does man live. How, how many believe you can do that? Hallelujah. And, and one, that's all he's talking about when he said be perfect. I mean, don't omit none of the things that he has said. Do it all. Eat the whole roll. If the Bible said be offended one point, you're guilty of all. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So we're going to do the whole thing. We're not going to omit nothing. Hallelujah. We're striving to be holy as, hallelujah, as Jesus commanded to be ye holy. For I, the Lord thy God, am holy. He's coming back for holy people. Hallelujah. And when you observe his, observe his word, his teachings, you will become holy. First of all, it takes you to receive the Holy Ghost. You must be born again. You've got to receive the, the Bible said if any man don't have his spirit, he is none of his. The Holy Ghost is what joins you into the body of Christ. It what places you in the body of Christ. Not coming up shaking my hand. You might join this church coming up shaking my hand and joining the church here. But to be connected to the body of Christ, you need to receive the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Oh, and once you receive that, woo, glory, it'll change you. It'll make you, turn you into another human being. Hallelujah. How, how many know what I'm talking about? It'll make you all over again. It'll change you. Hallelujah. It put life on the inside. It connect you with the body, with, with the body of Jesus Christ, into the body of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. But Jesus told the disciple, he said, the expedient of you that I go away, if I don't go away, the comforter won't come to you. He said, but if I depart, I'm going to send him to you. And he said, that day you're going to know that I'm in my father, and, you, and he's in me, and I will be in you. He said, I will live in you. I will walk in you. I will talk in you. You will be my people, and I will be your God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That brings you into spirituality. It takes you from an old natural man into a spiritual. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes, it will. Hallelujah. And then you got to start learn how to walk in the spirit. Once you receive it, you got to learn how to walk in it. The Bible says, hallelujah, walk in the spirit and you will not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. Hallelujah. You got to overcome this world. Hallelujah. All the, like I talked about earlier, all that's in the world is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life. You see it all over. But Peter said that we have escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Hallelujah. People trying to do things to be seen, to be recognized, to be heard recognition hallelujah a popularity thank God that I, I'm not seeking none of those things it's, it's all about him as the scripture said dying is the kingdom the power and the glory it all belong to him all the glory of man is that's the flat the grass of the field the Bible said the grass with it and the flower faded the way that's the way the glory of man is. Here today and it's gone tomorrow. But the glory of God whew, is forever. It's forever and ever and ever, forever. 
And he's bringing us into his image and his likeness. We are being changed and he's going to put his glory. He want to put his glory up on you. Hallelujah. Not, not you being a famous rapper. No. <laughs> it ain't about all that. Glory to God. But it's about him. Being just like him. At, will, you, will you be able to say to people, when Jesus walked the face of the earth, Philip said, Lord, show us the Father. And it sufficed us. Jesus told Philip, have I been so long time with you, Philip, and yet you don't know me? He said, he that has seen the Father, seen me, have seen the Father. Hallelujah. He said, don't you believe that the Father is in me and I'm in him? He said, the words that I speak, I don't speak it of myself, but the Father that dwell in me, he doeth the works. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Bible said, in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. And that Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Hallelujah. The word was made flesh in the beginning. Jesus took on the, God spoke that word into the moon of Mary. Hallelujah. And the baby boy came out. Being born nothing but of God. And not taking on the, the worldly, hallelujah, corruption of the world. Hallelujah. Going around laying with this one, laying with that one, cursing and Hallelujah, full of hatred. And, but he, I, I, what the word said, love your neighbor as yourself. Love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Becoming the word of God. We got to become God's word. We People got to see love inside of you. Whatever God is, it ought to see it in you. If God is love, the Bible says. You ain't got to try to love when you receive God's spirit. It be, love comes on the inside of you. Hallelujah. What you need to do is resist the devil. Resist those temptations that come to you. The Bible said Jesus was a man that was tempted in all points, just like you and I. He was tempted to become hateful and mean and bitter. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Bible said at one time, hallelujah, Jesus was in the temple. Hallelujah. And the Jews were looking upon him to see whether or not he would heal on the Sabbath day. Glory to God. Hallelujah. They want to condemn him for doing something on the Sabbath day. Hallelujah. Jesus said, which of you, having a coat or an oxen that fall into the ditch, will not lift it out of the ditch on the Sabbath day? Hallelujah. Glory to God. That was a man that had a withered hand on the Sabbath day. Jesus said, man, stretch forth your hand. That man's hand came out there. Hallelujah. And the people got upset with him. They got mad with him because he did this on the Sabbath day. But the Bible said, you know what? Jesus got a little angry. They got, got disturbed. Hallelujah. You, see, you, know, you know what he did? The Bible said he went into the mountains to pray and continued all night in prayer to God. Continued all night. So, so, so he let us know how to get rid of them feelings. Hallelujah. How to get rid of them temptations that try you. I, I, you got to follow his example. Hallelujah. I, I've had that to come up on me, but I follow his example. And feelings come up on me. I can do how I'm going to need God. You got to help me. Deliver me. I know this ain't part of you. I know you don't want me to become mean and hateful. I know you want me to love my enemies, not pretend to love them. Oh, <laughs> No, 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 no. God is too real for us to pretend anything. He said, I'm the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Ain't nothing too hard for God if we learn how to take it to him in prayer. Go with me over here. Book of Jeremiah, chapter 18. Hallelujah. 
Holy Ghost is, is great, it's good, but it don't amount to nothing if you don't lead, yield to it and let it lead you and guide you. How the Bible said, many is are led by the Spirit of God. They are the sons of God. And the Holy Ghost ain't going to lead you to lie. It ain't going to lead you to steal. It ain't going to lead you to commit adultery. It ain't going to lead you to allow hatred to come into your heart, a bitterness. Hallelujah. How many know I'm, I'm, I'm talking? How many know what I'm talking about? Hallelujah. It brings conviction. I don't know about you, but it brings conviction on me when I even think the wrong thoughts. And I have to say, Lord, forgive me, please. Don't, don't let that be a become part of my life. Hallelujah. Jeremiah chapter 18. Hallelujah. We're striving to overcome this world, to live totally by Jesus Christ. As Paul said, the life that I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God that loved me and gave himself for me. We can have that same testimony. Every one of us have that same testimony. Hallelujah. Look what he said here. Jeremiah chapter 18. The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Arise, go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause you thee to hear my words. Then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he wrought a work on the wheels. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter. So he made it again another vessel, as seemed good to the potter to make it. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, O house of Israel, cannot I do with you as this potter? Hallelujah, said the Lord. Behold, as clay is in the potter's hand, so, so are you in my hand, O house of Israel. Hallelujah. How many know the Lord is the potter? He wants you to be clay. He don't want you to be brick, stone, can't work with you, too hard. He wants you to be some clay where you can just mold and make him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He said, at what instance I speak concerning the nation and concerning the kingdom to pluck up, to pull down, and to destroy it. If that nation against whom I have pronounced turn from their evil, I will repent of the evil that I thought to do to them. Ain't God good? Hallelujah. All he wants you to do is turn. Do what's right. Hallelujah. And believe me, if you don't turn, judgment going to fall on you. It ain't the devil that kill. It's God that kill. I want you to know that. The devil ain't the one you need to be scared of. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Fear God. It is written, fear God. He said, I kill and I make a lie. I wound and I heal. God is the one that destroyed the old world. Hallelujah. During Noah's time. Brought a flood upon the world. Hallelujah. Killed whole everybody in the world except Noah and his family. God did it. The devil didn't do it. God did it. God rained fire and brimstone out of heaven and destroyed the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah and all the cities round about for their fornication and lesbianism and homosexuality. God did it. Rained fire out of heaven and killed them all. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But thank God for his mercy. He got somebody standing in the gap right here. Hallelujah. I'm going to let you know I got a mirror. I'm putting a mirror before you. God's word is like a mirror. It lets you take a look at yourself. Ain't that what the Bible said? J James said, if you look into the perfect law of liberty and continue therein, you'll be blessed in your deeds. Is that what James said? Look into it. How many looked in the mirror this morning? 
I believe all of us pretty well looked in the mirror. If you didn't, you're going to have stuff all in your eyes, boogers in your nose. <laughs> you need a mirror. Thank God for a mirror. Hallelujah. And I, I'm going to put a mirror before you today to let you look at yourself. Let you see yourself as the way God see you. Hallelujah. And the Bible said if we would judge ourselves, we would need not for nobody else to judge us. Hallelujah. You know, God didn't send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. But he that believe it not is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten son of God. Just saying I believe, hallelujah, it doesn't mean nothing. Just to acknowledge his existence, that's not true faith. Faith without works is dead being alone. If you truly believe something, you will act to it, respond to it. Hallelujah, you will live by it. Let it lead you and guide you and direct your life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He said, if that nation against whom I pronounce turn from their evil, I will repent of the evil that I thought to do unto them. We have an example of that in the Bible. Hallelujah. God has spoke to Jonah and said, go down to Nineveh and tell them I'm getting ready to kill them. I'm going to destroy them for all the evil that they're doing. Hallelujah. Y'all know the story. Everybody ever heard about Jonah? Hallelujah. Jonah didn't want to go down there. But Jonah knew that them people would repent. Jonah didn't want to go to Nineveh. He took ship to go to Tarshish. Hallelujah. But the Lord sent a storm on that lake. Began to rock Jonah's little boat. Hallelujah. Jonah on that ship. Hallelujah. And caused other people to get in trouble with because of his stubbornness and rebelliousness. Hallelujah. God brought some strong storm on the lake. Hallelujah. And the people tried to lighten the ship, throwing off things. Hallelujah. And they begin to talk about how they tell everybody, call up on their God. Hallelujah. And he said, Captain, they got one more man downstairs there, but he, he, he's sleeping. The captain said, I'm going to go by and see about him. Got down there, asked, talked with Jonah. He said, who, who are you? Hallelujah. He said, I'm the, uh, uh, I fear the God of heaven and earth. I'm the, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And, and, I'm, and I know the why, reason why all this trouble is upon you. I'm fleeing for me. Hallelujah. I'm running. Hallelujah. So glory to God. The captain didn't want to throw. He said, all you got to do is take me overboard, throw me over the ship, and everything going to be well for you. And they didn't want to throw Jonah overboard. <laughs> they didn't want to throw him overboard. They tried everything they could to try to get that ship in control. But then they realized, well, I guess we're going to have to get rid of this little rascal. He's causing all this trouble upon us. Hallelujah. So they grab hold of Jonah, and I don't think Jonah went willingly. <laughs> but they took that rascal, throwed him in the ocean. Hallelujah. And the Bible said God had prepared a fish to swallow him up. Big old whale came up and said, grumped him up. And Jonah went down to the bottom of the sea in that well, in that well. Hallelujah. And he said, out of the belly of hell, I cried out. Sometimes God got to put you in situation for you to call on me. How many know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I'm sure y'all know. Hallelujah. Reason why he's trying to get, a, get your attention. When them jail doors slam on you, clean. Oh, God. Hallelujah. You know how to pray it in. You think you don't know how to pray. Get in trouble. Let something hit your child, your, one of your children. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Hallelujah. This nation is in mourning right now. All these school shootings. God is trying to get people's attention. Yes, he is. Turn this nation back to God, back to prayer. He knows how to humble you. Believe me. Hallelujah. But we, don't have, we shouldn't have to wait till these things happen to call upon us. Don't you know Daniel got 
Daniel got thrown in the land of lions, but Daniel got thrown in that because he was a praying man. Hallelujah. Glory to God. King got upset because Daniel wouldn't bow to his image. And they had Daniel thrown into the den of lions. But when the Bible said when the day Daniel hit the floor down there, hallelujah, the lions couldn't do him no harm because the, God has sent the angel to shut the mouth of the lions. Hallelujah. I believe Daniel had the lions as his pillar. Went to sleep on them all night long. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God will fight for you when you stand for right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Like I said, but Jonah finally got his, got his mind made up to go down to Nineveh and preach to him. No, Jonah preached to Nineveh, and Nineveh repented. They turned from their evil. The king commanded everybody to don't eat nothing. Fast and cry out to God. And they did it, and my God, God repented of the evil that he thought to bring upon them. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He said, at what instant I speak concerning the nation, concerning the kingdom, the bill and the planet. He said, if I speak to them and tell them I'm going to build them, and I'm going to plant them, if it do evil in my sight, that it obey not my voice. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Then I will repent of the good, but with I said, I will benefit them. God is a just God. Also, if you've been doing good, and then you turn around and start doing evil, judgment is going to fall upon you. The Bible said he did endure it to the end. The same shall be saved. Not just because you started off in this race, you're going to make it to heaven, but you got to endure all the way to the end. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So, saints of God, I admonish you. Endure your hardness. Endure affliction. Endure temptation. Hallelujah. There is a great reward awaiting you. There is great blessings awaiting you. If you can just hang in there, what is that to go back to? You ought to be like Peter. Lord, where can we go? You've got the words of everlasting life. Hallelujah. What are we going to go back to being whores and whoremongers? Go back to the drugs? Hallelujah. No, sir. Hallelujah. Refrain, I refuse to be one of the devil's children. He had me long enough and made a, me, made a fool out of me, but no more. I'm going to fight against his kingdom. Hallelujah. Knock the devil in the head. Hallelujah. God is looking for somebody going to stand for him. Hallelujah. The Bible said we are ambassadors for Christ. We the one that show and represent what heaven is all about. Hallelujah. Ain't, ain't no everything going to be in heaven, believe me. No, sir. The Bible said none but the righteous. None but the righteous. Oh, Go with me to Corinthians. Make that. First Corinthians chapter nine, chapter six, I'm sorry. And I'm gonna start reading at six and verse nine. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God of God. Oh my God. You know one scripture in the book of Jeremiah chapter 23 God said if people would have just stood in my counsel and caused my people to hear my word they would have turned them from the error of their ways and from their wicked doings. Hallelujah. If preachers would just preach what God said. Just stick with the scripture. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We got to hold on. This is what's going to judge us in the last day. Hallelujah. Ain't no one saved, always saved. No, no, no. The people that came out of the land of Egypt, 
Hallelujah. Some of them turned back and God said that they became unbelievers and God, God destroyed them because of their unbelief. The, the angels, they, they didn't keep their first estate. Hallelujah. The way God made them, they got they kicked out of heaven. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But we got to maintain. Jesus said, he that endured to the end, the same shall be saved. Another scripture, he said, if you continue in my word, then are you my disciple indeed. And you will know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And I set you free. Make you free. I don't know about you, but I love being free. I love being free. Hallelujah. There was time when I used to be bound. Had to, couldn't help it. Hallelujah. Couldn't help but the lust, looking lust after women. Couldn't help it. My wife or my mother had to study. Get your eyes back on the road. Hallelujah. Couldn't help. Hallelujah. But to gamble all night long. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Times at times I couldn't help but to lie. <laughs> to get myself out of trouble. Cover up. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But when you do good, you ain't got to do no. You ain't got to worry about all that. When you dwell in the light. Hallelujah. You ain't trying to hide nothing. As Jesus spoke when he came before Paul. Hallelujah. He said, I ever spoke openly to the people. Ask them what, they, what I said. I ain't got nothing to hide. Hallelujah. We shouldn't have anything to hide. That we got to do in secret and don't want nobody to know. If you got to, if that's you, something is wrong with that. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Bible says, He that doeth truth come into the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. Come to the light. He said, no, you're not. The unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. The unrighteous ain't going to heaven. Be not deceived. Don't you deceive yourself and don't let nobody else deceive you. Neither fornicators. Whoo, there's a bunch of them in the world today. Fornicators. Sex outside of marriage. Hallelujah. There ain't no common law in God either. No, no sir, no ma'am. Marriage is honorable, the Bible said, and in the bed is undefiled. But homongers and adulterous, God is going to judge them. That's what the word said. You can believe that. Hallelujah. He said, no fornicators, no idolaters. Worshiping of idols. Hallelujah. No adulterous. No effeminate. Effeminate. Like you heard your sister testify earlier how you should, you used to be a lesbian, lesbian, homosexual. Hallelujah. But she's not that no more. That's what that effeminate means. How God can change you. And it's becoming very popular in the world today. And, and they're getting to where they want society to accept that. That is just common. That, that, that's, that's their nature. I, I feel like I'm tra a woman trapped in a man's body. <laughs> that's what they say. What's wrong with loving people? That ain't love, that's lust. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But God ain't going to accept it, and I never will either. Hallelujah. And he said here, no abusers of themselves with mankind, no thieves, nobody that steal. Hallelujah. No covetous, people that is covetous. Hallelujah. Taking something that don't belong to you. Hallelujah. Covetous, you're coveting folks things, other people things. And, and the world is popular with that today. Hallelujah. They don't want to go to work and work with their own hands that they might live an honest life. They want to be try to trick you out of what you have. Call you on your phone. <laughs> and pretend that the IRS is after you. And if you don't send this money, we're coming to get you. 
some of all kinds of scams. I know y'all got in touch, got, got some of those calls, huh? trying to scam you out of your money. Hallelujah. Bunch of crooks. And they wise, the Bible says they're wise to do evil. But how to do good, they have no knowledge. But you know what God's people ought to be? God is making us wise on to do what's good and simple concerning evil. Hallelujah. When it comes down to doing good, we ought to be very wise. Know how to close our mouth. Hallelujah. In, a, in the heat of an argument, and then the argument got... It take two to tangle. I'm, I'm going to put a stop to this. I, I ain't throwing no gas on the fire. I ain't throwing no wood on the fire. Where there's no wood, the fire go out. <laughs> Y'all need to learn that. Now, I ain't got no fires going on in my house. I put no wood on it, neither does my wife. We put no wood out there on, the, on gasoline. Cause the fire to be blazing, burn down your house. Burn, take away the peace, rob you of your peace. Hallelujah. He said, No drunkards. Uh oh, ain't no drunkards going to heaven. Hallelujah. Wine is a mocker. Strong drink is raging. And whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise. Hallelujah. Nor railers, there it is, railers, railing on one another. Probably trying to out shout one another. Hallelujah, got a shouting match going on. No, hallelujah. No railers, no extortionists. That's them extortionists that I talked about earlier too that try to trick you. Hallelujah. Shall inherit the kingdom of God. Ain't none of people, nobody that does these things, he'll not inherit the kingdom of God. Well, that covers a lot of folks, don't it? Hallelujah. Thank God. I used to be one of those, but thank God I'm not no more. It don't cover me no more. I'm clear of it. Hallelujah. Because of him. Not myself. Because of him. My sufficiency is not of myself, but is up of him. I know the one that give me the strength, give me the victory. In the name of Jesus, I got the victory. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, he giveth us the victory. Hallelujah. Did he give you victory? Hallelujah. He said, and such were, were, it should be were, some of you, but you are washed. But you are sanctified, but you are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You're sanctified, you're justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit. Like I said, it takes the Spirit, hallelujah, to cleanse you up and the word of God. All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. Meats for the belly, belly for meats, but God shall destroy both it and them. Now the body is not for fornication. That is again. The body is not for fornication. But the world sure enough think the body is for fornication. Hallelujah. If you don't go and lay up with this one, lay up with that one. Lay, hallelujah. Just laying up here, laying up there, laying up there, laying up there. Hallelujah. But the body ain't for fornication. Your body belongs to God. God want to live in you, walk in you, talk in you. And he ain't going to live in no unclean temple. He wants you to be clean and pure and holy. When he sent his son into the world, he didn't get, get a, a, a whore. He got him a virgin. Hallelujah. The virgin Mary. Hallelujah. To put his son, bring his son through. Hallelujah. One that had kept herself. It wasn't laying around everywhere. Hallelujah. Even though, hallelujah, when she came up pregnant, her husband thought she had laid around. Her spouse, well, a, a husband-to-be, rather. 
It was she was espoused to be married to Joseph. Hallelujah. When she came up pregnant, jo Joseph thought, hey, what's going on here? I know I ain't laid with you. What you didn't did, Mary? Mary said, the Lord did this. The angel appeared to me. Joseph, I, oh, wait a minute, I, I, gotta, I don't know. That's kind of hard to believe, Mary. But nevertheless, I'm going to go talk to the master about it. See, see what he said. Hallelujah. So Joe, the Bible said, while he thought on the matter, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in the dream and said, Joseph, fear not to take unto you Mary, your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she's going to bring forth a child and call his name Jesus, and he's going to save his people from their sin. Not in their sin, from their sins. He's going to save them from sin being hateful and mean, fornicators and adulterers and liars and stealers. He's going to save them from that lifestyle. He's going to take them away from that. And when Jesus prayed, he said, Father, I pray not that you keep them to get them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil. He ain't going to take us out of this world, but he will keep us from the evil. Hallelujah. You can be kept from this evil world. Glory to God. He said, now the body is not for fornication, but for the Lord, and the Lord for the body. Hallelujah. Y'all see that? Hallelujah. If you want the Lord to be inside of you, you got to get rid of that fornication. You got to quit laying around. Hallelujah. If you want the Lord to live in you. Hallelujah. He's saying the Lord has both raised up the Lord. And God has both raised up the Lord and will also raise up us by his own power. Know ye not that your bodies are the members of Christ. He said that your body is the members of Christ. Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them the members of the harlot? Woo! God forbid. I take what belong to God and join it to a harlot. He said, God forbid. What know ye not that he that is joined to a harlot is one body? For two said he shall be one flesh. But he that is joined to the Lord is one spirit. Hallelujah. When you're joined to God, you become one spirit. Hallelujah. Flee fornication. Woo. Flee fornication. I mean, run from it. Take out running. Hallelujah. Like Bishop, I heard say one time, if you feel like you got the heebie-jeebies, <laughs> take out running. If you can't handle that, get to run. Hallelujah. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. Come down that flesh. Get to remember those feelings that you used to have. Hallelujah. Well, you needed to know flesh. You ain't going that way no more. Get that, I'm getting out of Dodge. You ain't going to get me in trouble. You ain't going to get me in trouble with my master. I'm going to stay holy. I'm going to overcome this thing. Hallelujah. Anything that's dying, it's going to hurt. But let it die. Hallelujah. If you suffer with him, we're going to reign with him. Is that what the scripture said? No suffering, no gain. Hallelujah. We need to learn how to suffer with him. He suffered for us. Hallelujah. To give us the victory over these things. Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body. But he that committed fornication sin against his own body. You sin against your own body. What know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which you have of God, and you're not your own? But we are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Hallelujah. It belongs to God. So glorify him. Turn with me to the book of Timothy. The 
2 Timothy. Chapter 2. I'm going to start reading here at verse 1. He said, Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And the thing which thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You got to endure some hardness. Might seem a little bit hard and rough sometimes, but that's okay. Endure it. Hallelujah. Then James said, Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. For when he's tried, he's going to receive a crown of life. What are you enduring? Overcoming. Hallelujah. That's where the blessings come. He said, and the thing which thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who should be able to endure, teach others also. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No man that warreth entangle himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him that hath chosen him to be a soldier. Hallelujah. You don't get entangled with all the affairs of this life. And if a man also strive for masteries, yet is he not crowned, except he strive lawfully. That's good preaching right there. That's good teaching. Hallelujah. He said, if you're striving for masteries, God ain't going to crown you, except you do it lawfully. Hallelujah. You've got to come through the door. You got to make sure you keep under your body and bring it in the subjection. You can't step on nobody, misuse anybody, abuse anybody, and think God is going to bless you over all that. He's not going to do it. Hallelujah. You can't have sin in your life and think God is going to overlook that. I just got one thing wrong. No, no, he ain't not going to. He wants you to get that one thing right. Have you ever read the stone that the builders rejected? It's become the head of the corner. That building block right there is going to be your downfall. We got to eat the whole roll. Eat it all. Do it all. Hallelujah. Don't overlook nothing. Hallelujah. I'm striving to do everything he said. The husband that labored must be first a partaker of the fruit. The husbandman that labored, he got to be a first a partaker. Consider what I say. And the Lord give you understanding in all things. Remember that Jesus Christ, that the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel, wherein I suffer trouble as an evildoer. Hallelujah. Look what Paul said here. Paul said, I suffer trouble. Like I'm the one that's doing evil. Hallelujah. You know, I've had people tell me, say, you're a bunch of perpetrators. <laughs> Meaning that you condemn folks and make them feel bad. Yeah. The word do that, not me. I got to say what the word say. I got to stand for what the Bible say. Oh, it's going to make you feel bad. The Bible says, to some we are the Savior of life unto life, and unto others we are the Savior of death unto death. When you don't want to do it, it brings death upon you. But when you do right, you're glad about the word of God. There are people that hate the police officers because they're doing evil. But when you do good, hey, officer, hey, you're glad to see them. Hallelujah. The Bible said, you know, we don't, I don't bear the sword in vain either. God has given me a sword. And it, it cuts. I don't, I'm, my weapons of my warfare ain't carnal, but it's mighty through God. Hallelujah. I'm going to use my sword. 
Jesus said, think not that I come to bring peace on the earth, but I come to bring a sword. Hallelujah. Come to destroy the works of Satan. And if you're on the devil's side, you're going to feel like I'm destroying you. But if you get off the devil's side, you're going to be, hey, hallelujah. You can rejoice and be glad. Hallelujah. Because believe me, heaven and earth will pass away before God's word passes away. Forever, O oh Lord, is a word settling in the heaven. Hallelujah. He's not going to lower his standards for nobody. Nobody. You've got to come up to his standard. He ain't coming down to yours. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's given us his word to what we ought to live by, and how we ought to behave and conduct ourselves. Hallelujah. How the Bible said, draw nigh to God, and he'll draw nigh to you. When you do what you keep his saying and do what's right, God, God can come close to you. It's sin that separates people from God. Ain't that what he said? He said, my hand ain't sharp that he can't say, neither my ear heavy that he can't hear. He said, but your sins have separated you from me. Hallelujah. You come clean. My God, you can have fellowship with him. You can call and he'll answer. You can call and he'll say, here am I. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I thank God that he's been with me down through the years because I have been with him. He said, I'll be with you while you be with me. You forsake me, I will forsake you. That's what the Bible says. Hallelujah. Look what he went on to say here. He said, wherein I suffer trouble as if I'm an evildoer, even unto bonds, but the word of God is not bound. When Jesus walked the face of the earth, hallelujah, he had other, Mary had other children besides Jesus. He had brothers and he had some sisters. He had at least five brothers and how many sisters? He said sisters. I don't, he didn't number all of his sisters, but it was more than one. Hallelujah. And the Bible said, his brother said, if you do these things, show yourself to the world. No man do anything in secret and don't seek to be known openly. If you do it, do it openly. Go on up to the feast. Jesus said, I go not yet up unto the feast. My time ain't yet come. He said, but your time is always ready. He said, the world can't hate you. He said, but me, it hated because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. Hallelujah. When you get to testifying of people's work being evil, believe me, they're going to hate you. Hallelujah. People that's doing evil, hallelujah, they, they ain't going to like you. Simple as that. When you begin to preach against their wrongdoing and testify, then Jesus said when the Holy Ghost is coming, it's going to reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. But do you have the Holy Ghost in you? Don't you think you ought to be reproving the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment? You ought to be letting them know, hallelujah, when things are wrong, we ain't right. Hallelujah. We struck them in the ways of righteousness and holiness and godliness. Not to condemn them, but to, to stand for what's right, for truth, justice, and the godly way. Say like I said about Superman. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. He said, Therefore I endure all things for the elect's sake. Paul said, I do all things for the elect's sake, that they also may obtain the salvation that's in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. Paul realized that he had the endure if he had if, if, to give other people hope hallelujah if you don't endure don't you know you cause other people to lose out on hope there are people that are watching your life hallelujah and look depend and trusting in you to, for you to do it for keep continue to live holy because then, then they can say if he can do it i can do it and then, then they'll say if you don't do it they'll say if they can't do it i can't do it I know before I got saved, I watched a man for seven months. Hallelujah, because this is a man was a mean and hateful rascal. And I watched his life, and I said to myself, if God can save him, he can save anybody. He can save anybody. 
And I saw him at that time. I mean, he was strong, standing up and crying out against everybody to come up against sin. Then there was time I saw him like he was kind of getting weak and wasn't as strong as he was. And don't you know, I started praying for him. Lord, help him to stand. Help him, Lord, to continue in your word. Because I figured if he didn't do, couldn't do it, then it's going to make me lose out on my hope. But thank God, hallelujah, that I got saved. I don't have to depend on him too much. As, I can depend on what the God in me, keeping me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Believe me, people are looking at you, though. And they're hoping you stand. Some those that want to be saved. They're hoping you stand. Hallelujah. Look what he went on to say here. It is a faithful saying. If we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. Hallelujah. If you be dead with him, dead to your old lifestyle, dead to hatred, envy, and strife, and bitter, dead to fornication, we're going to also live with him. It is, if we suffer, we shall also reign with him. Hallelujah. That's the one thing that, that a lot of people don't want to do. They don't want to suffer. They don't want to suffer. But you, you got to suffer. But the Bible over there in Peter, 1 Peter chapter 4 said, For as much then as Christ has suffered in the flesh, arm yourself likewise with the same mind. For he that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. Is that what it said? And he do it that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men, but to the will of God. Hallelujah. Don't want to live the rest of my time in this flesh to the lust of men, but to the will of God Almighty. Hallelujah. If we deny him, he also will deny us. If we believe not, yet he abided faith, he cannot deny himself. Don't care if you don't believe. He still abided faithful. He cannot deny himself. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a hand praise today. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I just want to read one more passage over here in the book of Matthew. And I'll be finished with you. Hallelujah. Matthew 21. And I'm going to start reading here at verse 28. Oh, this is good right here. Jesus, over, he said, what think ye? A certain man had two sons. He came to the first and said, son, go work today in the vineyard. And he answered and said, I will not. But afterward, he repented and went. He came to the second and said, likewise. And he answered and said, I go, sir, and went not. Whether of them twain did the will of his father. Jesus asked him a question. Which one did the will of his father? They say unto him, the first. Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that the publicans and the harlots go into the kingdom of God before you. For John came unto you in the way of righteousness, and you believed him not. But the publicans and the harlots believed him. And when you had seen it, repented not afterward that you might believe them. Hallelujah. This is what we ought to be looking for when you're trying to serve God. The righteousness. He said, John came to you in the way of righteousness. And you believed him not. Hallelujah. The Bible said the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness, righteousness, and truth. That's where God is. If you want to know where God is, he's in goodness, he's in righteousness, and he's in truth. 
Hallelujah. And also, and it's written, it's word right here. What is good and what is right and what is true. We got it right here. Glory to God. And look what he said here. He said, here another parable. There was a certain householder which planted a vineyard and hedged it round about and digged a wine press in it, and built a tower, let it out to husbandmen, and went into a far country. And when the time of the fruit drew near, he sent his servants to the husbandmen that they might receive the fruits of it. And the husbandman took his servant, beat one, or killed another, stoned another. Again, he sent unto servants more than the first, and they did unto them likewise. But last of all, he sent unto them his son, saying, They will reverence my son. But when the husbandman saw the son, they said among themselves, This is the heir. Come, let's kill him. Let us seize on his inheritance. And they caught him, cast him out of the vineyard, and slew him. When the Lord therefore of the vineyard cometh, what will he do unto those husbandmen? Hallelujah. Jesus talking to the scribes and the Pharisees here, religious folks, church folks. So what do you think he, the husbandmen going to do, the, the, the Lord going to do to these husbandmen when he comes? And they said they, he, that he will miserably destroy those wicked men and will let out his vineyard unto the husbandmen unto other husbandmen, but shall render him the fruits in their season. Jesus said unto them, Did you never read in the scripture the stone that the builders rejected has become the head of the corner? This is the Lord's doing, and it's marvelous in our eyes. Therefore I say unto you, the kingdom of God is going to be taken from you and given to a nation that bring forth the fruit thereof. Hallelujah. God is looking for us to bring forth fruit unto his kingdom. Not just call yourself a Christian and live like the devil. He said, by their fruits you shall know them. Going to church don't make you a Christian any more than being in the garage make you a car. You got to live this life. Hallelujah. Become doers of the word and not just hear us. Hallelujah. And whosoever this stone shall fall upon, whosoever shall fall on, on this stone shall be broken, but whomsoever it shall fall, it will grind him to powder. Hallelujah. Whoever fall upon this stone, he said, yokes will be broken in your life. Everything that I mean, he will break every yoke. He will free you, deliver you. All you got to do is fall upon him. Another scripture said, Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Hallelujah. Confess your sin and forsake them. The Lord will have mercy upon you. Hallelujah. Thanks for watching the Refuge Temple Ministries broadcast with Pastor Joseph Carmooch. If you are in the Lafayette, Louisiana area, and you want to worship with us, we welcome you with open arms. We are located at 2631 Louisiana Avenue, Lafayette, Louisiana, 70501. Our service times are Sunday morning at 10 a.m., Sunday night service at 7 p.m., Tuesday night Bible study at 7 p.m., Wednesday night service at 7 p.m. or view us on Acadiana Open Channel on Sunday mornings at 8 a.m. For more information about the ministry or to partner with us, call 337-593-1277. That's 337-593-1277. Or visit us online at www dot refuge temple dot net thank you and may god bless you